I've just got up, washed, dressed, blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to the buffet there. That one. Yeah. We've had another experience where the buffet isn't great, but to be honest, it's what you pay. Like, um, for example, this buffet and Plenty of Hollywood's buffet was only $70 to $80 for the three of us included. Whereas Caesar's Palace's buffet was like $120 for three of us. So it's, even though it's a small difference, it made a big difference. Like it, it really depends. So we're kind of just making the best of it really. We're at the outlet mall now and it's kind of raining a little bit. So I'm just like, oh. I typically found another hot topic. So, um,. My cousin Anastasia, if you're watching this, <laughs> your birthday's coming up, so uh, yeah, you know. <laughs> anyway, we're just walking around like um, my mom loves shopping, so we're basically here for her. So I'm just tagging along until it's time to go to the concert, really. We're leaving the mall now, which I'm so happy about. <laughs> I don't like shopping much, but. Yeah, I had a few people come up to me, ask me about my YouTube channel and whatnot. I told them my name and things. So if you're watching, then welcome. Enjoy my videos. Hope you enjoy them, yeah. But yeah, so we're going back to the hotel now because I get worried about missing concerts and things. So yeah, cool. I'm back from the mall now because there wasn't much to film whilst I was there, to be honest. We weren't there long. I've just been getting ready for the concert, to be honest, because I wanted to make sure I was back in time. But of course, I can't take this camera with me because they took it off me at the Lionel Richie concert last night. So I'd better not take it this time either because they'll do the same thing. So, see you after the concert. Okay, so it is actually the next morning now after the Paris concert. I had a great time. I had such a fun time. I filmed a little bit of Paris's performance, just a little bit, but it's like portrait because it was for Instagram stories. I'm in Caesar's Palace Hotel again because we know the buffet is really good here. So we want to end our last day in style of our trip and we want to go have the best buffet we've ever seen so I'm very excited I'm very hungry as well so I finished my buffet breakfast brunch however you want to call it and we are in the Bellagio and we're going through like the indoor conservatory because when we came here a few days ago it wasn't open like they were sorting it all out as I showed you so oh wow so I'm gonna show you Beauty. 
Basically, anyway, and I just wanted to show you because it's, it's amazing. Hold on. Look. I just think it's amazing. Being accidentally dumped with the woman, 
So if you have any cups, bottles, bags, or purses, make sure that you're holding on to those tightly or placing them on the ground next to you. Once again, traders are here at our first research and we're working with our female dolphins. You want to put the camera towards the center of the pool. She was brought to us when we first opened back in 1990. Oh. She's in here with her daughter, Hassan Tuff, who is eight, oh, 18 years old now. She just celebrated a birthday just not too long ago. And Tuff has two daughters in here, Bella, who is nine. And of course, the newest addition to our Dolphin family, Coco, who is now seven months old. There's a mother and daughter. So there are three generations of females right here in our birth and research pool. Hudson Tuff and her three daughters were born right here in our facility. Last but not least is Sophie. She is 12 years old. She is not related to anyone here, but she is still very much a part of our family. Now we are are an education and after research based facility so trainers will come out throughout the day to do training sessions just like this one with our dolphins. We'll do various activities with them to stimulate them and promote their health and their well-being. Each of these training sessions have specific goals in mind to them. Each of them are completely different and we need to keep them as stimulating and enriching for our dolphins as much as possible. So we do encourage you to catch a few of these training sessions while oh, you are dolphins. here visiting us today. <laughs> so those high energy behavior sessions saw our dolphins do those jumps and flips. Just like that one. That is just another way that we get them some exercise. We're going to the for the center of the pool once again. That's actually an extension of their natural being. Dolphins will jump out of the water to get a bird's eye view of their surroundings. You can see that our dolphins are two toned in color with those dark green bags and those lighter colors. That's actually their form of camouflage called counter shading. Above a dolphin looking down at them, those dark gray backs blend in the depths of the ocean below. Here below a dolphin looking up those lighter colored bellies blend in with the bright sky above. Great green to them do hide from their predators like killer whales and sharks and also great green to them is soft and gray like We get a chance to take a good look at those light underbellies, perhaps from our underwater viewing area. You can see that they do have body presence just like you and I. That is because dolphins are mammals, they are not fish. They do not have to let each other be When dolphins are born, they are born with whiskers. Those whiskers actually fall off shortly after birth, and it is believed that those whiskers help with nursing. You can see that our trainers are feeding our dolphins from this little bit. Our dolphins look at that throughout the day. From 10 to about 15 to 30 pounds of fish each, and their diet gets into some very tasteful smelt 
and small squid. Now each of those fish provide some kind of nutritional content such as fat and protein. Even though dolphins live in water, they do not drink any of the water that they live in. All of their hydration comes from the food that they metabolize. Now it does look like this treaty session is going to be over. Well, I think once again, each of these treaty sessions are completely different and unique. So I've just watched some dolphins jump around, get fed. It's so sweet. Like, I think I'm going to look at tigers now I think I'm not entirely sure zoom in properly but I can't believe it I can't believe they've got stuff like this I'm just blown away I'm amazed I'm absolutely amazed I'm trying to see what else I can find as well unbelievable now these are snow white Bengal tigers How amazing is that? I mean, to be honest, it is sad that they're, ca they're kept in captivity, but oh, it's amazing to see them, but that's the problem, they're in captivity as such. Oh. Whoa. I've just come up to a leopard. Let me just show you the leopard. Wow, who is that? <laughs> the leopard noticed me actually. Oh my god, there's also like an enclosure with a striped white tiger. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> that one's asleep. Bless them. I'm trying to find where my dad went. Where did he go? Oh, I know. I found him. <laughs> oh. There's more tigers! I wish I could like touch them but they'd probably bite my hand off. So that's the exit. Okay. They have K2 and Miramar joining them. K2 and Miramar are half brothers. They're actually both lightning sons and they are six years old. They were born six weeks apart from each other. All of our dolphins here at the garage are talking about it. So 
dolphins in the center of the pool. Our dolphins are most commonly found along the United States east coast from Cape Cod all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. However, you can find dolphins all around the world except those extreme polar regions, typically living in waters ranging from 50 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So the dolphin is like playing with like a massive yoga ball and like jumping around with it. How cute is that? <laughs> That's so cute. Aww. This place is so amazing. When I came here a few years ago, I did the dolphin trainer for a day package, and I did that for a whole day, and I was in one of those pools, and it was so fun, so fun. So I think now we're gonna go to an underwater viewing area, which I'm so excited about. All the sun. in the hotel that looks after luggage and I don't know what we're gonna do after that because we have to be at the airport fairly soon kind of to catch our plane through the night to go back home we're at the airport we went through I don't know customs or whatever that is Whatever that is, I don't know. We're a bit early yet though. 